Darkness Day celebration. Oh, they are so unique and they are so fun. They are known for their annual event that celebrates the release of their imperial stout called Darkness. And it is dark. The event is held at their brewery in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and features great live music, rare beer tapping, food trucks, and more. Surly Brewing Company and Darkness Day celebrations are so unique in many ways. Let me talk to you about that. First, the Darkness Beer is a Russian Imperial Stout that is aged for over a year in bourbon barrels. This gives the beer a very strong, complex flavor that is unlike any other beer. In addition, Darkness Day is a celebration of the release of Darkness Beer. On Darkness Day, Serling Brewing Company releases a very limited number of bottles of Darkness Beer. And fans from literally all over the world line up to get their hands on a bottle of it. The brewery also hosts a live party with music, food, and other activities that are going to be featured today. Darkness is a popular event for Surly fans and beer lovers alike. It's a great opportunity to try some of Surly's best craft beers and enjoy a day of fun and celebration, not to mention people watching. Here are some of the things that make Surly Brewing Company and Darkness Day celebrations extremely unique. They are one of the few breweries that release an Imperial Stout every year. Their Darkness Day event is one of the most popular beer events in the entire United States. And of course, they are always innovating and trying new things. So Surly Brewing Company and Darkness Day celebrations are a great example of how a business can be successfully integrated with a community and have a positive impact. So David and I are walking down here to Surly, which you can see way, way, way down there. Surly Brewery. We're going to Darkness Days. And we're walking along and we see this epic etch-a-sketch that this guy built. And he's building some sort of amazing art structure back here. It's called Leonard's Basement. Well, Leonard's a creative sort, so we have all kinds of, well, there's a giant, I guess, I don't know, beaver, rat, robot. Ooh, I like his sphere there, that's cool. Anyway, we're going to Darkness. Now, this is a brewery that I would rate AAA. They have excellent beer. They ship to quite a few states and there are a couple of events a year that they have here. But in order to get here, because there's also the Michigan game today going on up here at the University of Minnesota, we had to park in a neighborhood and now we're walking. But you can hear the bands playing. So they're going to have music throughout the day. Then there's people who line up sometimes starting at four in the morning to get into this event. And then, what kind of beer do they hand out? The special edition, right? Darkness is an Imperial Stout. Imperial Stout, which is excellent, by the way. Anyway, they're building a lot of new, beautiful high-rise apartments around here. And there's quite a few breweries, I would say, within a 10 mile radius around here so you can hear the music right around the corner you'll see they own pretty much the whole block I think now it's quite a large restaurant bar campus so this is Searly right here brewing Well, 
I've never seen anything quite like these brewing company mascots, but I do love his red glowing eyes and his red mohawk that stands so tall in his head. I think you'll enjoy these mascots for Surly Brewing Company just as I did. Surly's mascot rocker here with the glowing red fire eyes also inspires us to listen to the great music and there is no end to the treats that you can find in the merchandise store that they have around the darkness imperial stout so there's david david okay so the we got the back open and this place goes on and on and on you can see the size of the bar. You can see some of the fermentation tanks. And then this is a two story. So there's restaurants and amazing beer here. And you can hear the bands. And they are ready to party. So David has his first beer. What is it, David? This is a 2022 barrel aged in Parker Heritage Whiskey Barrel, Dark Lord. I mean darkness. Darkness. So it's got whiskey barrel aging. Yeah, it's barrel aged. Yeah, barrel aged. In a whis whiskey barrel. Every time I try one of those, first of all, they're really deep, dark, and rich. But there's almost like a syrupy quality to it. So it's a little bit too sweet for me. I'm just not... I can't really go that kind of sweetness. So how is it? It's good. It's cold. But... It smells delicious. Yeah, you can have some. I can't, David can't always, it. always, always likes his beer warmer. I'm going to try it now. It's actually very delicious. Kind of chocolatey, tobacco-y. But again, it's got that sweetness to it. So now they have in here a section where you can get vintage, vintage, yeah. vintage beer pours back here in the back. And then they got a whole section to meet the artists of the darkness, which is my thing. That's what I want to see. I love art. I love artists. Oh, and the artists are going to sign them. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, that's really beautiful. Thank you very much. So do you, are these like lithographs that you scan them? Well, no, these are all hand carved and then I print them manually. So oh. they just three blocks are into one print. So they're three different colors on one print. They're beautiful. Thank you very much. So how much is it to get a I'm piece of your artwork? Um, I mean, these are 15. Posters are 50, except for this one, 70, it's a little more rare. Is that this year's? This is from 2016 when I did it. Oh, you sh did, is that when you started? I'm sorry? Is that when you first started? Was 2016? Well, that's when I made art for Surly, but I'm old. I've been doing stuff for a while. <laughs> you're not old. You're just getting finer. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be here with the artist. Uh, I'm Adam Martin. This is my Krampus print. And, and look at the doodle that he put on it. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited that I get this for my birthday, so it's great. Happy birthday, I appreciate it. Thank you. And then the other one is really cool because this is about a bicycle poster. Uh, this was done for the Art Crank poster show that is all about bicycles. And uh, this is the first piece I did for them. So um, I've participated three times, but this is my favorite one out of the, the three that I've done. So. And I'm lucky enough to get it to hang in my house. I'm so excited. So thank you very, very much. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, this is all of the darkness every year. Each one of them is one year. Here's a closer look at all of those Russian Imperial Stouts for Darkness Days over the years since they've been holding this event. Here's a bird's eye view of the campus where the event's being held at Surly Brewing Company. And it is full and festive. So as you can see, there's fire pits, there's 
all kinds of cool displays for Halloween. Some of those are on fire. Then there's different stations for bands. Different bands playing. There's beer stations, food stations. And David and I are up on top right now. My favorite beer of all times is made by Omegon. And it is from the Game of Thrones series. And I love this pinball machine. I love pinball. I would dearly, if I had this machine in my house, I would probably be on it constantly. But they've got the dragons, they got the thrones, they got everything from the TV show. It is so fun. Look at all these lights. It's amazing. But if you like Belgium quads and you love Belgian beer, um, again, Game of Thrones series of beer was absolutely impeccable. Every bottle that was celebrated with was delicious and amazing. Live tattoo parlor right here at Surly Brewing for Darkness Days. So what kind of tattoo are you getting? It's a bat. Yeah. A bat? I live with bats. Do you like bats? I like bats. My do wife you likes really? bats. Oh Jesus. So do you have do you live in an old house with bats or no? What? Do you live in an old house that has bats? No. No. Well my house has at least twenty bats a year that chase me. Sounds like you need a bat tattoo. Uh, I think I need a bat remover. <laughs> anyway, you're braver than me. I just, the pain, the idea of the pain scares me. And this is a very cool bat. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. That is beautiful. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Getting a bat tattoo. Oh, just like the one I like. It's very cool the way he's doing it. What do you think of it? Well, it's sort of neat. It is neat. You know what it reminds me of? The bat from Batman. Yeah. It? it looks like that. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. the spotlight. Yeah, exactly. One of the cool activities here today at the Surly Darkness Days is paint your face. So we have a real paint your face in action right now. I love it. You look great, actually. <laughs> it matches your sweatshirt. So what are you going to do once you get all made up? I'm going to go get a beer gonna have beer? Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you going to the football game? I might have to now. Yeah, you gotta show it off. You gotta get out. Well, I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. I could have brought one of my cool jean jackets if I would have known. Then it's like, here, fix your hair. These are certainly games. Guys, look at these. Look at what they throw. Little oh, baby hugs. These are like really creepy. So, are you a pro at this? Are you really good at this? No. <laughs> oh, look at this dinosaur. This is like amazing. Love this truck. It looks like it's straight out of one of those movies. probably what I need for my neighborhood. I love this. It's just kind of adorned with all kinds of cool industrial looking crap. <laughs> and the hoist is cool. Look at this hoist. A dinosaur. Your own kind of dinosaur. Right there. But here you go. This house could be in my hood got flames shooting out of it. It's 10 years. 
interact at your own risk. So obviously a dragon lives here. Obviously there's horns on it. The road is closed. Minnesota ride share. I love it. It looks like some kind of Jurassic Park accident happened in this house. I do love these animatronics. Makes me feel like I'm in a movie. Jurassic Park movie. That's what I would call this house. There's all kinds of torches. It's really nice to be around this because it's nice and warm. <laughs> so, Game of Thrones looking stuff. My favorite is this vehicle over here. Look it up on top. It's got this cool bicycle seat, bicycle handlebars from like a Stingray collectible, an old Ford hood, and it's called Battle Train. It says play outside. So this is like a jungle gym, Jurassic Park slide, Oh look, it's even got sand on it. It's, it's like the whole thing. And when you get really tired and playing, you can like do your term paper on this amazing typewriter. And over there you could probably play music and there's a piano board. But this is like the coolest thing. Oh, and of course, look at these little petting zoo. We have goats. Goats can be quite obnoxious. But they are kind of fun and clever. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, yeah. It's going to eat the pumpkins, of course. Goats eating pumpkins. Uh-oh. Dog meets goat. What's going to happen? The goat actually backed off. I can't believe it. The dog is, like, fearless. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird relationship that's what that is not sure what goes on in here probably skateboarding look at this tire swinging tire oh look at this this is fun you got a horseshoe on there but it's luck is running out because it's upside down my favorite is the fire hydrant with the fire hose coming out love that and then we have our line for food so there's food outside here we ate inside it was really delicious oh they have an ice cream sandwich the double brisket and smoked pork slaw beast of the belly pork belly char suey pickled veg cilantro anyway they've got some amazing choices here for food for drink and i think this is where david's going to be picking up some of his special edition brews that he has put in for i only got a vinyl section look at those vinyl vinyl is alive vinyl is going oh my god we have a demon popping out over here <laughs> How's things over here? It sounds kind of quiet. Well, we need people to keep drinking. It'll be all right. Yeah, this yeah. This is the band merch and stuff, so I'm sure it'll pop up. This is very cool, actually. Smells good in there. It is wild. It is getting, you know, as the crowd picks up and gets ready for the football game and drinks more and more, it's getting more and more crazy. Well, we so. I would imagine you're going to get some people out here quite soon. <laughs> Industrial steel. But I think this is my favorite activity right here. I wish Sophia was here with me. We would be all up in here. We'd be in that cage spinning around up on top, down the slide, up and down the fire pole. It's all cool. We swapped out the bag because I got too much. Now, here is a new option for a vehicle, right here. I guess it runs on propane. And normally it has fire shooting out of it. But there's hands on it, and the hands are holding up the rocket boosters. You can see this has become a place to put the cans. 
But I love this. There's where we steered at, the seats, bucket seats, lots of airflow. Not really much of a sunroof, but it is very cool. It's got a skull on it. This looks like it's straight out of a movie. It could be fun. It's got its own ladder. I love it. Just in case you get in a, in a spot and you need a ladder. And look at this amazing fire. This feels so good. Yeah. Oh my God. So you can see there's a lot of fun people here. And after being cooped up with COVID, it's the best time to get out, have a little fun. Now, the question is, where did David go in all of this? You've got to find him because he's trying to get us here. Yeah, it's I just wanted to ask real quick from my podcast how the children are enjoying the event. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. I just thought you wanted this. Oh, well, I got to have that. A little, little something for later. I got to have that star quality. <laughs> yeah, feel, feel free if you want to take pictures. It's so cute. How old is this one? What? How old? What's that? How old is your uh, little? Nine, nine and a half weeks. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, beautiful. And that's this one. How old is that one? Three years now. Yeah. Three years old. So well behaved. Yeah, he's, he's always been a good dog. I could never bring my dog here. He, Just, it's a hopeless behavior problem. <laughs> yeah, we we love taking care of him. He's such yeah. a good dog. Well, they're wonderful. Yeah. Well, have fun. Yeah, thank you. When you're a member of Surly, you can get special perks like limited edition beers, and you can only come here to get them. So I'm on the hunt for David. I'm not sure where he is, but Bottle Pickup is back here. Bottle Pickup is at the back of the brewery. So I'm trying to find my husband. I don't know where the heck he went off to, but he should be back here somewhere. This is the only place where you can get the beer that you pre-ordered. And you have to come pick it up because they do not ship. Unfortunately, I don't see David back here either. Yeah. Not sure. Hey, I've lost my husband. He was supposed to come back and pick up his beer, David Mers. David Mers? Yeah, M-E-R-Z. I think he has David. Yeah, two okay. two bottles. Yep. Excellent. Thank you so much. You I appreciate it. You bet. So this is the back in the brewing area. It is so cool back here. Lots of people. We got footprints. To help us find our way out of here. That's so bad. But you can see they take their beer seriously. And it is a very cool area. No doubt. Here's some of the fermentation tanks. Just amazing. 
looking back here. Oh my gosh, mayhem has broken out. Bloody body parts. And even more stuff going on in a tasting lab and a testing lab. And now we're back to the front. So now we got to try to find David. Well, while I'm waiting for David to show up. I thought I'd come out here and enjoy this amazing fire pit. It feels so nice. It's a beautiful fall day. But I know tonight when the game starts, it's going to get colder and colder. And there's no joke about that. There's quite a few pets here today, so it's a happy pet day. Hopefully David will show up here sooner or later. The place is so big, you can easily get disconnected from people. There's a little guy that was trying to butt heads with the goat. He survived, just in case you were worried about him. Here's a sight you don't see often. Men's room line, and no line for the ladies. I guess the men love the beer too much. And look at these wonderful, goofy, gross head skull garden lights. Creepy enough. And here is the Darkness Days Ghoul. He makes Chucky the clown look sweet and innocent. But one of my favorite things, and one of the favorite things of the event, is where people gather together around a great fireplace pit just to enjoy a talk, a beer, and listen to the great bands that showed up here. And David and I thank you for joining us over and out. The Rebel Podcast is listener supported. You may send your contributions through our YouTube channel, or through Spotify under Deborah Danielson. Enjoy this Surly Brewing Company experience, and thank you for watching us on Cox Channel 22 Community Channel. We hope you enjoyed this, and stay tuned for more exciting travel adventures on the Rebel Podcast.